in, in California right now. Hello everyone, uh, I'm back with another uh, hangout. This time I have two uh, very awesome friends with me today. Taylor and my absolute best friend on here, uh, Tea Girl Kitty. Uh, do you want to both say hello? Hi everybody. Hi. Hey, uh, Janet, did you send Rosie a, a link yet? Um, what's her username, you know? Um, let me look. Or I can send it to her. Okay. Yeah, I was talking. <clears throat> excuse me. I was talking to um, Heather this morning. She's in San Antonio, Texas, and she's up early. And uh, she showed a little interest too. And. Um, I sent her the link to your channel so she could sub you, honey. Um, I don't know if she is already or not. I'd like to send her the link too, if it's okay with you. Is that sorry? I'd like to send my friend Heather the link to this. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Okay. What's the weather like there this morning, sweetie? It's um quite sunny today. It was um actually it was really raining this morning, and um and on Friday it was terrible. Are you going to be going to the park with George and Nick? Uh, they're they're still in France. So for two weeks. So, uh, week after next, I'll be seeing them again. Neat. So, uh, what time is it uh, there, Taylor? 8.17 in the morning. And Kitty? Oh, it's 11.17 here. I'm on the mm. east coast of the U.S. It's funny to me, you get different time zones in the States. Yeah. Yeah. We when we go when the when the fall arrives, we're going to be um, uh, turning the clocks back an hour, so you'll be six hours ahead instead of five hours ahead. We've got one viewer. Pardon me. We've got one viewer at the moment. Well, that's kind of neat. And I just sent I just sent the link out to Heather, and maybe she'll. Because she just wrote me and said that she's going to uh, check it out. So I just sent her the link. Can you send the link to uh, uh, Rosie and Jen as well? Terry, you just did that, didn't you? Yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't find that. Sorry, who did that? Yeah, I did it. Okay. She might be busy right now, but I sent her the link. Yeah. So Cindy couldn't make it today, huh, sweetie? Yeah, she got, she I, I sent her a um, message on YouTube last night, and um, she said that, that that particular time she was working, um, but mm -hmm. she sent me a message back saying um, that we will be able to always do a hangout in the future. So. I see. Well, that'll be nice. Cindy's having problems with her audio. I wonder what's up with that. Every time she tries to do something. She can't get the audio right. I mean, we see her, but that's about it. That's a shame. Tell, I've not seen uh, many videos from you lately. Have you not done any? Or I spend most of my time on Flickr. Okay, yeah. And uh, I like your Hangouts, so if you keep putting up Hangouts, I'll join if I'm not working or I'm awake. Okay. Yeah, 
I can only talk during the day, sweetie, or or when my wife is at work because um, I'm usually on online at night after supper, and uh, that's how we say it here in the East Coast, supper. And um, that's when we retire to our respective rooms, and I can do whatever, whatever I want out of my room, but I can't talk during a hangout because it'll wake her up, and she gets up early in the morning usually to go to work. So, But this is a perfect time here because she's working right now, and I'm totally free, and I can lay around in my girly outfits and have fun. Yeah. It's a shame, really, I mean, um, that, that your wife, um, does she, she knows about Kitty, but she don't, like, not, not want to see you, or... Oh, she watches my channel. I know that she does do that. Uh, but she doesn't like to talk about it. She busted me about three years ago. I was, um, I got complacent. I was actually uploading a video. It was called, um, Bitch. <laughs> and, yeah, and it was, uh, I had a song attached to it by uh, some chick singer, and the name of the tune was Bitch, and it was pretty popular. And uh, it was uploading... And it had just completed uploading, and I was, I while I was outside having a cigarette, and I left my computer on, and she went into my room and she saw it, and and the red, the then then the nightmare began. <laughs> so it was, it was very difficult. It was humiliating, and it was it was actually a, a very 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 um, horrible experience to have to go through with her. I fully expected her to throw me out, and she, she didn't, you know, because well, we've been together for forty-three years now. Yeah. I'm I'm dating myself here, um, but you know, since it's been, it still goes on. I have a horrible time with her. We fight about it. Uh, she likes to belittle me. She likes to. She's trying to make me feel terrible what I'm doing. And, uh, the media, like, you do your own separate thing, and like when you're able to, you can do what you want, really. And oh yeah, she knows. She knows that while she's working or when she's away, that I, I'm doing this. You know, I told her I'm not going to stop. She uh, puts up with it because she knows that if she makes my life really miserable, then I'll just walk out, mm -hmm. and she doesn't want to see that happen because we do love each other. You know, we've, we've been together for so long, but she'll never accept it. She'll never accept. I have a question for you both. When you both do your YouTube videos, and tell when you did, did yours, what uh, like camera do you use for your videos? I use I use my cell phone camera. Okay. Yeah, I've got a a, a Samsung Handycam. It'll fit right in the palm of your hand. I've had it since I started it on here oh, over five years ago now, and. Uh, um, God bless it. It's it's a champ. It, it's just a beautiful camera. I haven't had to do anything to it, and um, I'd like to try to hook it up to so, patch it through. I haven't even tried doing it yet, but I know that there's got to be a way I can patch it into my computer so that I can have I can sit back away from the camera uh, because that's how I want to appear on the Hangouts. I don't want to be close up. Yeah. But I'd like to do that because I want everybody to see me. You know if they. I just don't want to scare anybody away. I don't think you will. <laughs> oh, honey, if you saw me close up, I don't know. I think maybe we should do a private hangout or something to test the waters. <laughs> yeah, I think you can do that through uh, Gmail. Like, I think there's um, a way you can do sh like private video calls. Well, uh, just prior to you going live, uh, it was just us, right? The three of us. Nobody else could see what we were doing. There's nobody, nobody can, unless you're live. Nobody else can, you know, watch watch what's going on. Yeah, well, that's we could always try it that way, you know, at first, and then uh, if I look like hell, then uh, I can just angle the camera down to my breasts, and everybody <laughs> can stare, everybody can stare at those during the hangout. <laughs> what but do you think, Chair? I think your avatar is good. Though. When was that? When was that taken? Oh, I've had that up for uh, oh god. So, well, since I got busted, <laughs> since I started showing my face, I started showing my face about three years ago, two and a half, three years ago. I'm very bad at the past. I watched your video earlier. The new one. Oh, my stairway to heaven. 
Yeah, yeah, I loved it. Yeah, did you? Thank you. I saw the um I um commented on it. I don't know if you read that. Yes, I did, and thank you, sweetie. You're very nice. Thank you so much. I love you. Um and Tara left me a nice comment too. Yeah, I'm, people are starting to wake up now, so because I post late at night, and uh, usually I don't receive any um, any viewers uh, or comments until the next day. But it's starting to happen now, and then I'll find out if uh, you know if it, if I played shitty or I played okay. <laughs> Here's the camera I use for my videos. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. That's neat. How many pixel? How many pixels on something like that? Because it comes out nice. Yeah. Uh, sorry, what did you say? Your videos come out really nice. Does it have a high resolution, like a high definition? Very small camera. Yeah, it's a really cool HD quality. What? Who makes that? I see it says Flip on it. Actually, they've gone out of business now, um, which is quite unfortunate. It's a really good camera. Um, my mum bought it for me in a place called Argos. Uh, it's like a catalogue store, but you have to go to the store to pick it up. I see. Um, it was about sixty pounds. I don't know how much that is in the US, but it was good. It was a good price for what it was back at the time. Um, but I mean, if it, if it ever breaks, I'll have to like try and get a new one. Yeah, I think that that's. I think uh, your your video quality is really good right now. I think you're okay. Oh, she looks great uh, from my angle over here. You're a kind of little bit blurry, but you look beautiful, Tara. You're coming through nice. The the uh, webcam I'm using is uh, built into my laptop. Mhm. Mm oh yeah, I know. I'm gonna, um, a little, bit of a little trick here. I'm going to share my screen and show the um, show the um, like the um, what do you call it? The um, thumbnail I mean for this 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 chat, which I'll do afterwards. How's mom? She's okay. She's on a little rest at the moment. Pardon me, I didn't hear that. So a little rest at the moment. Oh, she's sleeping. Yeah. She's a Beatles fan, Tara. Is she? Yeah. Hey, are, are both of you? Mo uh, do both of you like uh, the Beatles more or uh, uh, the Rolling Stones more? That's a tough question, because they're so unique in their own rights, and they're brilliant. Uh, the Beatles. The Beatles music was much more uh, intricate and, uh, and and vary it variated a lot. If that's a word, um, but you know, for, as far as cool goes, it's the Stones all the way, and Led Zeppelin, of course. Who do you like? Who do you who do you like, Janet, for the English bands? Sorry. Who's your favorite British band? Um, I like all eighties music. Um, nothing in particular. I like all different stuff. Yeah, um, I'm not. I don't know. Who did you say that you liked? I didn't catch the name. Oh, uh, like different stuff. Oh, I see. Yeah, I grew up, uh, when I was a kid, it was, um, I mean, of course, I was uh, early teens when uh, the Beatles came out. And uh, at the time, it was Elvis Presley and the Crickets and all that stuff. And um, I was there for the British invasion. And I'm telling you, there was nothing like that. The whole United States of America was nothing but Beatles. Everybody was into the Beatles. It was Beatles everything. Everything was Beatles. It was crazy insane. And when they my came mom, to this... My mom loves Queen. 
Queen is, oh, you know, such a shame about Freddie Mercury. He was one of the best singers I've ever heard in my entire life. But he, had, you know, and he died so young. Yeah, Queen is great. You guys, you guys have a lot of good bands coming out of uh, out of the UK. A lot of great music. Here's my uh, picture for the the this uh, hang on. Oh, so sweet. Oh. Yeah, you look good in that blonde hair too, uh, Janet. Thank you. They were um, they were taken from my uh, Flickr album. Hey, uh, Janet, do you like Def Leppard? Uh, I've not heard of it. <laughs> well, that's isn't that British, Kitty? I don't know. I wasn't really into them. Christ, the whole band practically perished in an airplane crash. I thought they were an American band, like the Southern Rock band. I might be wrong. I don't know. Maybe I should Google it. <laughs> I'll send. I'll put the link on the side. How about uh, Doctor Who? Does he, any of you like Doctor Who? I started watching them. I used to watch the old ones when I was younger, and I was I, I liked it. But and I am a real science fiction buff, but I was too into the the Star Trek um, and all that stuff. You know, uh, I started watching the new ones um, on I think Netflix has them, and mm -hmm. I've watched a few of them, but I haven't really gotten into it yet. I know it's really big in the UK. From what I've heard, everybody's into Doctor Who where you are. Yeah, I like Doctor Who, Janet. Yeah. I like the old one. I like the very first one that came out. I'm, always, Tara. I'm, I'm sorry. Into, um, like the new series that came around in 2005. Because before then, I never saw it before. Uh huh. So, like, you know, Christopher Eccleston through to David Tennant, Matt Smith. Uh, I think the new one now is Peter Capaldi. Yeah. And it's not coming back until September for Series Nine. Oh. Boy, you really get you really got quite a library of DVDs. Ooh, we've got a comment in the side chat here. It says hi, girls. Wanted to say hello. How do I get the sidebar? So yeah, I, I haven't gotten that. I don't see that. All I see is that link that you put up, Tara. What's that the link to? A Def Leppard. <laughs> if oh, Janet okay. wants to know who they are, she can click that. Okay. She so just the, the link on the side is the Def Leppard British group I like. Oh, that's Heather. That's Heather on the sidebar. Yeah. How do I write back to her? I can't see how to write back. Um, it says questions. Ah, all I see is, hey, girls wanted to say hello. How do I get the sidebar? Oh, oh, um, oh you can't reply back um, by typing. But if you want to reply in the video, she'll, she'll um, get the answer. Oh, yeah, that's right. Duh. <laughs> Tara knows when I say duh, I mean duh. Right. Uh, okay. Hi, Heather. <laughs> it's Kitty. Hi, Heather. Meowie. <laughs> she's. She, I think she's having a little trouble uh, writing back. I don't know. I have a question. Um, sure. Fire away. How did you all come up with your goody names? How did I come up with my name? Mm -hmm. It's because I'm in love with kitty cats. I've had yeah. kitty cats all my life. And uh, I actually had 17 pussy cats at one time. Yeah. Once. <laughs> um, you know, I was like the crazy lady at the end of the street with all the cats. Whenever anybody in the neighborhood had a stray cat around, they used to send in my house. But no, I love I love cats. Right now I have two cats that I've raised from kittens. What they're running around the house crazily right now. And my last pussy cat I used to make 
some of my videos have my my kitty. Uh, he was a Maine Coon cat, and I swear he was psychic. And his name was Pie Wacket. <laughs> Tara, Tara knows Pie Wacket. We called him Pie, and he died uh, almost two years ago now. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, he was my sweetie. He was in my videos. He used to like to ham it up and stuff. If you look at some of my earlier videos, I have one that's called Joni Pie and I. And uh, Joni is Joni Mitchell, and she did a uh, she did the song that I have attached to the video. And my pie is on my kitty cloud with me. So, yeah, that's how I got my name. Tara's okay. name is a more mysterious origin, doesn't it, sweetie? <laughs> My, uh, my sister is going on holiday in about a week's time, and we're going to be looking after their cat again. Uh, Sutu. Uh huh. I think I showed him in a video once. Tara, where did you get your name? Well, I worked with a blonde girl named Tara at a Burger King, and. She was really good looking, but I, for some reason, just thought her name, Tara, was so uh, intriguing because I've never heard of the name before. And I think it's just the name itself, the word, uh, intrigues me a lot. And that's probably the case with a lot of us. We just simply love the word. What about you, Janet? Uh, where did you come up with your name? I kind of wanted like a feminine version of my own name. Uh huh. Because right. you know I got um I got two middle names and first name and surname. Um, so Johnson you know, remains the same. Um, so James I made to Janet because you just replace some of the letters and then you have the name. And Simon Henry would be my two middle names, well, my middle names. And I changed them to Simone, because that's like a female version of Simon, and Henry to Henrietta. Ah, uh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And, uh, so it's kind of similar to my, like, my birth name, but, you know, I, I just like how it sounds uh, similar but different, and I, I like that. You don't mind it when I call you Janny, do you? I love it. I, I really do love it when I receive the emails. I, I think it's really awesome. Oh, goody. You're so sweet. Look at that little smile. I love it when your eyes sparkle. Your eyes always sparkle when you smile. Actually, I was um, speaking to uh, Malcolm on uh, Skype yesterday. I said I was going to be doing a hangout with you. And, I, and he said, um, I said, um, Kitty has got like a nickname for me. And I said, um, it's uh, Johnny, and he says, oh, that's so sweet. He should join the girls. He should be here with us right now. He said he was going to try and pop by. He went about, he went about now, but he's not here. <laughs> um, I think it's quite busy there. Ah, uh, well, he's in, he's in Washington, isn't he? Yeah, he's in uh, Seattle, Washington. Yeah, yeah. I like him. He's cool. He's a cool guy. So, I would like to see your address. Can you stand up and show it to us? Yeah. I'll have to move the um, chair. We can webcam down a bit. So I'm trying to see that. Oh, yeah, that nice. Looks, that looks very nice, Janet. Beautiful, very, very tight. I love it tight. I like your leggings and your little booties. Sorry? Thank you, sugar. You look really pretty. Oh, thanks. You look, you look very pretty, Janet. Heather's saying hi again. Hi, Heather, if you can hear me. Hi, um, Heather. You wrote, yeah, hey, girls, right. wanted to say, how do I get the sidebar? Well, it looks like you've got the sidebar. Um, all you got to do is write in the little box at the bottom. We're not writing back. We're just vocalizing to you. <laughs> yeah, um, 
I think it'd be good if they did have like a reply uh, like section. Um, but because like we're in the video, um, people can post us like questions, but we answer it by giving our reply by talking. What do you think of my voice, Heather? Did you think I was going to sound about three keys higher? No. <laughs> Yeah, this is the first time we've heard Kitty on the um, on YouTube, right? Yeah. Yes, that's right. So now that you've done it for the very first time, would you like to do more? <laughs> well, I'll do more uh, as long as I'm not uh, busy doing something. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. I love this. This is really neat. Um, Actually, I'm lucky today because usually um, wifey's hours are from 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. on Sunday. But she's an innkeeper, and they've got a huge influx of uh, tourists uh, checking in today, so she was needed during the day shift. Um, so I lucked out, which is pretty neat. I don't know if uh, it would be nice if she could do this every Sunday and we could talk on Sundays, but... Um, We'll just have to play it by ear for me. Like I told you, I can, I can only speak like this during the day. At night, I'd end up waking her up. And she knows what I'm doing in here at night. She just likes to ignore it and, and make it go. She thinks it'll make it go away or something. What do you but, do um, in the uh, day, Kitty? Do you uh, like work? Or? Um, I'm retired. I'm a retired girl. Um, I, I keep house. I'm a house husband, kind of housewife deal, and um, I run errands and do the shopping and all that stuff. And you know, well, one of my friends from the uh, my my second channel is coming in. Uh, Alex Twinder says, "Where where are you where are you from, Kitty and Tara?" You want to go first, Tara? I'm in uh, San Diego, California. I'm in, uh, well, actually, I live on Cape Cod in the northeast in Massachusetts. How's it going on with the townhouse? Because I, I, I know that you have um, tried to move at some point. Yeah, i got to get out of here. The winters are driving me bananas. Um, I've lived in the northeast all my life, and I'm just, I guess I'm just tired of wasting half my life stuck inside, uh, it's too cold, you know, I don't do a whole lot of winter sports anymore like I used to do any of that stuff. I'm tired of shoveling snow and uh, it's just the cold, you know, and, and plus it's a lot less expensive. Cape Cod is a very expensive place to live and, and prices are continually going up and uh, um, I want to move to Florida um, where it's nice and sunny and warm and uh, a lot less inexpensive. There's no state taxes. Um, yeah, the house is good. I, I just switched real estate agents, and uh, this one that I have working for us right now is really good. I'm losing count of the showings that I've been um, doing lately because of it. Um, I, it's unexpected, though. She could call me right now and say, uh, I got somebody who wants to see the house in an hour. Will you be ready? And then I got to run through the house and vacuum and crimp it up and make it look nice and then split out the door while they do that. I had a showing yesterday and it looks pretty favorable, but so far I haven't had any offers. But it's just a matter of time. Uh, my next question is for you, Kitty, and that is how often do you get to dress? Um, I usually dress about once a week. Yeah. If I can, if I have time to do more, I do. But there's other things I'm doing. Plus, I'm just so involved in <clears throat> what's going on with the house, and um, I've got a lot of work to do in the house. I'm trying to pare down. I'm trying to throw things out and make it look a little more spacious. We've been here for nine years now, and uh, you know, you know, with the house. Pardon me. I hope it all works out for you with the house. Oh, I'm sure it will. It's just a matter of time. It's just on Cape Cod, a house, a townhouse or any house on Cape Cod is very, very expensive. I can get a, a house with more space in a better place in Florida for, and dig this, and this is no kidding, about a tenth of what mine is selling for. 
So it's a big savings. And we'll be we'll be out of here. I don't know how it's going to affect. <laughs> My wife's name is Annie, and Annie says to me, um, "Well, you're not going to be doing that in our new house, of course." And I said, "Well, I'm not done yet. No, no, you're not going to do that. And I'll tell you one thing: you're not taking with you, and that's that." cloud thing that you lounge around on while you're selling yourself and whoring yourself out on YouTube. That's how she puts it. So she's telling me I'm not taking my cloud with me, but um, we'll see about that. <laughs> Where do you get the cloud? It's actually part of a uh, a couch thing that we bought at a um, an import export company store. Um, it, it's like an exotic thing. It was like made of bamboo. The, 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 the uh, foundation that you lay it on is like made of bamboo and it contours to it. And um, we found that it was uncomfortable. She really wanted it. I didn't want it. But I'm glad that because I'm always, I'll always give in. Whenever we go shopping, if I don't want something and she wants it, guess who wins? So, but I'm glad that we got it because we couldn't find a good place for it. She threw the foundation thing out, and I took one look at it and thought, hmm, I could probably do something interesting with that. And it's become a kind of a signature thing in my videos. I know I'm yapping, yapping, yapping. Tara knows all about me yapping. We're on the phone, and I never shut up. Right, Tara? <laughs> well, you're a Leo, and I'm, I'm a quiet person, so... Uh, it's nice to hear somebody talk a lot because uh, you have interesting things to talk about. How about you? How often do you dress? Oh, uh, probably 15% of the time. Um, actually, every night because I go on Amanda's hangout almost every night. So, but I work. Uh, eight, nine, ten hours a day, five, six days a week, so I'm dressing up almost every night just for an hour or two to go on Amanda's Hangout, so stop by Amanda's Hangout, uh, Janet, if you ever feel like it. Okay. Um, well, you, you don't have to answer this, you don't want to, but what do you work at? Oh, uh, I can't tell you exactly, but I, I, I work at a manufacturing company, so we make a certain product. Mm -hmm. um, so it's pretty, it's it's basically just a manufacturing company. Uh, about a hundred people work there. Not sure that I'm my, uh, my fingernails. Well, that's pretty, Janet. Those are nice. That's a lovely color, sweetie. I got red and I got the uh, blue. Both by my mum. Beautiful. They go very good with your leggings. Yeah. Heather wants us all to come to San Antone. Visit the Alamo. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot in Texas. They get them damn twisters too down there, you know. And you better be armed because everybody carries a sidearm. Right, sweetie? She's my little cowgirl. <laughs> I've been to America about four times. You've been what? I've been to America four times. Really? Yeah. No kidding. Wow. Have you been to New England? Uh, no. Hopefully maybe one day. Where did you go? I went to uh, Sacramento in California. Wow, cool. That was where my um, brother lived for the first, uh, first two years that we visited. Um, then we went to, so that was, I think that was about three times, because the fourth, uh, we went to um, Arizona, which was where we uh, moved to. Wow, it gets really hot there, but it's all dry heat. Everybody tells me it could be 110 and you're not going to be uncomfortable. Yeah, it was last time I went to America, which was the fourth time, was when I went for my brother's wedding, which was um, the time I felt kind of out of sorts because 
you know, having to wear a suit and stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So it was, um, oh, it was an experience, but. Yeah. You know, honey, it's really, really, I just have to say that I love your mom so much that your mom supports you the way that, that she does. It's just, it's, you're so lucky. It's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. She's a wonderful person. Um, do you mind me asking how it's coming along? Are you, um, are you getting ready to uh, move forward? Um, I got another hospital appointment in a, little, in a, in a few weeks. Um, but I hopefully around about that time I should be able to know more and hopefully the um the, the, be able to move on. Great, wonderful. Keep me apprised, okay? I'll keep you all updated by uh, email. Okay. So what I haven't had a chance to watch the X Files um uh, trailers yet. When is that going to be on? The new ones. Um, thing is, with with uh, the US, it's on. It's going to be on Fox. Uh, you know, the channel Fox, I think it's called. That's right. Yeah. And I think around about the sixteenth of January next year. Um, and it's not yet been confirmed what date is going to be shown here. Cool, sounds cool. Hey Terry, you know um, Janet had um, Dean. What's his name? Hard Hargood. Is that his name? Dean Hagland. Hagland. Yeah, I know. Dean. That, that was nice to see that, Janet. That blew me away. I couldn't believe it. What did you do? You just approached him and asked him to, Hey, you want to come on a hangout with me? And he yeah. said, Yeah. He got a website, and I was uh, able to go on there, and he had an email address, so I just asked him. And he had like um, a Google Plus account, and I was uh, able to do a hangout with him. That is so cool! It must have blown your mind. Shame, <laughs> shame, couldn't be able to have a webcam because that would have been a bit, bit, bit better for you know fans of uh, the X Files and the uh, Lone Gunman. But it was uh, fun to talk to him and you know discuss his work and upcoming stuff. I said, um, I think he's moved to Australia now. Yeah, uh, I I wish that he had showed his face too. But I was thinking to myself, he had the excuse that something was wrong with his webcam or something, and I'm thinking, yeah, he's probably lost all his hair by now. <laughs> he has, uh, he's cut off all the blonde hair he had, he had for the Lynn Gunman. I loved him. He was my favorite character. I just I, I adored him. I I have heard rumors that it's supposed to be coming back for the. Uh, Six X Files episodes uh, next year. Ah, oh, nice. That'd be great. Those guys, they were they were the highlight of the show. Whenever they come on, you knew that something funny was going to happen. Is that is the thought of the uh, young woman, or was it the last season of the X Files? Was when when they died. Yeah, when they went into the building and they got uh, exposed to that, um, like, what was it toxic gas or something? They were yeah. supposed to have died, but they survived, right? Yeah, I think the story went on in the uh, comic books of the X Files. Um, yeah, yeah. I've never read them, but uh, it's just uh, something I've heard. So I think that's the reason why they can come back to the show. Yeah, yeah. That show was brilliant. I thought that the music, the writing, the direction, the storyline, everything about it is masterpiece. I think it's one of the best series ever. Did you like the uh, show that Chris Carter got? Um, he got inspired to do for um, the X Files was by Colchet, the Night Stalker. Oh yeah, that's Darren McGavin starred in that. That was back in the seventies, I think. Yeah. I used to watch that. I haven't seen it since then, but I really liked it and. You know the fact that you mentioned in one of your in one of your last vlogs that it was um, uh, the X Files kind of they got the I Chris Carter got the idea for the X Files from that. I know that never dawned on me, but now that you mention it, yeah, yeah, the, I got I, I got to go back and, and try to find that and watch that again. I think Netflix has it. 
In fact, I'm sure Netflix has it. I'm glad you reminded me. Yeah, Chris yeah. Carter is Chris Carter is something else. Okay. Have you seen his other shows like uh, Millennium? I started watching that. I really didn't like it that much. In fact, didn't that kind of didn't they have like a Millennium? I can't remember the guy who starred in that, but I like him a lot. Didn't they have like a Millennium episode of the X Files? Yeah, they did. They did. I thought they did. Yeah, it's been a while since I've watched them. You know, I've watched that series three times, the whole series. I got them all on DVD. But it's been over a couple of years since I've watched them. It started like Lance, Hed Lance Hedrickson, I think the name is. Yeah. Yes. Yes. In fact, I think one of the first things we've ever seen him in was Close Encounters of the First Kind. He was in that. He was when they when the big mothership landed and they showed everybody standing there in awe looking at the thing. He was standing in the crowd. A real young guy. Looked a lot different. Yeah, that's the guy. Lance something. I can't remember his last name. Lance Hendrickson. That's it. Hendrickson. Yeah. Tara, you did you say you lived in San Diego? Yeah. Have you ever been to the San Diego Comic Con? I I don't really enjoy uh, that type of stuff. I uh, I like comic books, but the comic books I liked was G.I. Joe, Star Wars, and Shogun Warriors. So I'm not a big Star Wars fan, but I like the comic books of Star Wars. That's about it. Yeah. It's really crowded over there. It's very difficult to get there and move around. So you have to be a really hardcore Comic Con to go there. It's just I mean, so I, crowded. I was seeing seen, uh, videos of the people who make Doctor Who go over there. Right. Like Q and A panels and stuff like that. Right. You would enjoy it. Jenny, um, Alex Trender is asking, when will you showcase your singing skills? Um. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, not on here, maybe on a separate video. <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you what, you and I can make a video together, all right? You send me a, I'll send you a song to, to use, you sing to it, I'll copy the, the, the vocal, and then I'll patch my guitar into it, and we'll do a duet. How's that sound? That's okay. <laughs> You're very good at the guitar. I really do like listening to the music you do. Pardon me? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. I like, I like your guitar stuff. Oh, thank you, honey. I try best I can. I got a little arthritis going on my fingers, but actually playing the guitar, and I hadn't picked it up in years. In years. I, was, I used to play when I was a kid. I had a high school garage band and all that jazz. Um, but, you know, I haven't played in years, and I just picked it up probably like a, almost a year ago now. A little more than a year ago, I started fiddling around and and started getting it back and it's actually helped it helps with arthritis anybody out there has got arthritis in your hands learn to play the guitar because it's really good for your fingers and it helps but thank you I really appreciate that can you play the guitar uh, Taylor? I can't play any instrument uh, I, I practiced the guitar uh, two times in 1980 and I just I was just too lazy to keep practicing, uh, but I I'm not a I don't play uh, music, but I do like to listen to it. Now Alex says stage fright, maybe. I, I see that, yeah. <laughs> Tara, what do you got? What is that necklace around your neck? Is that a headphones? Oh. I'm looking at your little picture and it looks like you're wearing a little necklace there. No. <clears throat> I love your hair, honey. It's beautiful. Mine? Thanks. Both of you. <laughs> <laughs> it was really um, 
good deal on Amazon. I really do love it because I, I love hair that got like the fringe. Uh, um, yeah, you look brilliant, brown, thanks. Brown is like my natural colour and I do like blonde as well. I think I got six hair pieces upstairs, but this one's like the main one I feel is like in. It's like the, um, I think it just um, goes goes right with my kind of personality and everything. Uh-huh. It's beautiful, sweetie. And, you know, whatever feels best for you. If you look in the mirror and you see beauty, then that's it. That's you, you know. Yeah. And thank you for that. That, that's, that makes me feel really good. I've tried some, um, some longer wigs, and... Uh, I can't really make them look really good on me unless I puff them out a little bit because I have a long face. So when I wear a long wig, it makes me look like my face is longer, you know. But you, you have like a, you have a, you, you look like kind of like Tara. You have the cherubic look in your cheeks. You have beautiful cheeks, and so long hair looks beautiful on you guys. You know? I'm and better in the short and shorter. Hair. Janet, Janet looks completely passable to me. She's a, she looks completely like a, a, a woman. I told her that. She, that's one of the questions you asked me, Jan. Remember, you wanted to know if, how you would be out, out and about. And, and I told you, you know, you look like a lot of girls I've seen out and about. And, you know, real GGs. You know, you definitely, I agree 100% with you, Chair. Definitely. No, oh, thanks. Sorry. And you have hey, beautiful it's okay, teeth. Janet. And you have beautiful you, teeth too, sugar. Oh yeah, she. If I saw her over here in the grocery store, I would I wouldn't think twice. I would think, you know, there's there's a. There's a I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, but that's all I want. Oh, you're you're already a woman in our eyes. Oh yeah, definitely no no problem there for sure. Take it easy, honey. Take a nice deep breath. Smile. <laughs> it's okay, Janet. I mean, I the longest time to be at stage I am now, and to us coming around the corner. You don't have to feel intimidated or anything, honey. You know, I used to think, my God, there's no way I'm going to be able to show my kisser outside. There's no way. Um, but since I've been watching Amanda and 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 uh, Rosie. And some of the other girls, um, it's it's like Amanda says. It's amazing. You go out and you think, "Oh my God, I'm a target." You know, I know I don't look passable, but especially when you watch Amanda when she goes inside stores and stuff, you know, to a lot of people it's obvious, but they just treat her like anybody else. You know, and then she she even said herself, you know, it's amazing how comfortable you begin to feel because you know that you were all wrong about yourself the way you appear. The only reason that we think that, that we, we're not going to look passable is because we're so intimidated by our gender and how we're trying to, to mask that so so hard. And you don't have to really try as hard as you, you might think. Um, I know for sure that, you know, you know, that if I saw you out and about, I, wouldn't, I might give you a second glance because I like what you're wearing. But it wouldn't even dawn on me that you're you know, a teeth girl. So my question, uh, Kitty, was uh, how many wigs do you have? Is it just the one, or do you have more? Um, I have one, two, one, two, three, four, five. I got five wigs. Is the and one? I gotta two? tell you. I gotta tell you. I have to say this. Tara's responsible for some of them. So sweet. The one in your um, picture, you know, when you on, on here now, is that the one you wear in your main make videos now as well? Or? Yeah, yeah, that's the one I'm most comfortable with. Um, I think it makes me look the best. It's good for my face. I like the color. It's is easy it to do on it. It is blonde. It's a kind of a dirty blonde. It's a nice color. I like it. Oh, thank you. And um, I think it really suits you well. Oh, thank you, sweetie. You're very flattering. I appreciate it. I love you. Thanks. 
uh, it's it's funny because um, almost at the same time that I started wearing that, Cindy got the same wig. I swear to God, it's the same one, and uh, she wears it quite a bit too, and she looks absolutely beautiful in it. And I haven't asked her yet, but it looks so similar to mine. I'm wondering if it's the same, the same maker, the same designer. I'll have to ask her that. Uh, how about you, Taylor? How many do you have? I have five, and they're all the same style as this. I want to buy a short-haired one uh, someday again, uh, but for now, I just have five. I think I got about seven. Because uh -huh. um, I'm just trying—I was trying to find the right one, you know—and I think I found it now with this one. But um, the first ever one I bought was. Um, I think it was like a short bob one, like a short bob style, and I think it had like, there was no fringe on it, but I was trying, try and then I think, no, this is not the right style, and then I went for the long blonde one you saw in my picture earlier. Uh-huh. That was okay. Oh, I, love, I love that one. I love that on there. Beautiful. And, um, you, look, you look beautiful in any color, honey. Uh, like Tara says, I really like you as a blonde as well. Yeah, and I bought a shorter blonde um, and a longer bob, but I had like a, I had like a side fringe, I think, on it. It was the one I uh, wore quite a bit before I bought this one. Oh yeah, it, would that be the one that you're wearing in your um, in that picture that you showed us? Um, yeah. Okay. Um, but no, this one's I love cool. that. I love this one. So I think like, this is. I love I love that little uh, video clip that I that you sent me. The one that I included in your birthday video when you're yeah. at the stairs. You're on the stairs. Oh, that's so neat. It's a perfect back it's a background setting, and and you had plenty of room to walk up and down, and you know we got a good look at your outfit. Very nice. You present very well. Mm -hmm. So what's going on with the with your vlog? When are we going to see the next vlog? I'm going to be recording it um, after after this chat. Mm -hmm. um, I can tell you the title of it if you want. Oh, neat. I guess we're not going to see Rosie or Jen this morning. That's too bad. Yeah, it's a shame. But, the, uh, but that's okay. It's my 51st vlog, and the title is Being Open, Features and Dislikes, which is just something I want to discuss. Can I ask you a question about your makeup, sweetie? Yeah. You've got a, you've got a beautiful foundation. What do you use? Um, because at the moment, with the, with, with, you know, beard growth and stuff, mm -hmm. um, I use a really thick one called uh, Pan Stick. Okay. Okay. Like, um, I had one. That you you um, turn the thing that comes up. It's really thick stuff. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. It comes in a little tube and you twist it at the bottom. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I had some of that. I bought a little tube of that. God, it was a while ago. I could all, you can't get it around here. You can't get nothing on this sandbar. Believe me, it's just a sandbar with trees and nothing but beach. <laughs> but I love the beach. Uh, but, um, yeah, I bought one of those. I think I got it from Amazon. Mm -hmm. And uh, it didn't last me that long, but I loved it. And I should get more. I really should. Because I got a lot of... There's a lot of traction on this old kisser that I need to uh, cover up. A lot of mileage. <laughs> But, yeah. yeah. My mum, my mum loves me my makeup. She uh does the make sure that the foundation's good and it covers up certain bits of of the um like beard shadow. Yeah, yeah. I've had problems with that myself. You know, yeah. a lot of people recommend, and I, and this does work. Um, I just make sure that I shave real close, and yeah. plus my face, I usually have I use light and shadow a lot, you know, to try to mask the real me my age but anyway um, I've heard people talk about and like I said I used it and it worked pretty good 
if you take like an orange lipstick, believe it or not, orange lipstick, um, and put that around the uh, the shadowy areas before you apply your foundation, it works wonders. I've used a concealer at first. Sometimes I'll put a concealer on first. I'll blend that in, and then I'll put my foundation on, and then I'll put some, some concealer around my eyes and a little around my nose and my eyebrows just for some highlights. Um, but uh, if you don't have concealer, the orange lipstick, I thought that was peculiar when I heard that, but it works. works pretty good. What, what uh, makeup do you use, Tara? Like, do you use a thick foundation or...? I use a, th I use a regular foundation, and then I put a powder over that, and um, powder sets it really good, I think. Yeah, I, I, I think everybody can still see a little bit of my shadow, but um, I, I just don't care that much. Uh, I, so. I just continue using drugstore foundation and MAC powder. Yeah. And then I always put blush on. Does Macy sell MAC products, uh, Tara? Do they have a concession in there? No, I don't think so. Maybe they do in another city, but over here it's not in it's it's not in a Macy's. Well, I can't find MAC anywhere. Uh, the closest thing we have here is just the Cape Cod Mall, and then you got to drive, you know, like a million miles just to get to any kind of civilization where there's a lot of stores. But um, I can't find Mac anywhere. Yeah, it's had an orb struck. Christian here from Heather, saying they might be on Amanda's. She is running a live chat. Yeah, Janet, stop by uh, any time on Amanda's uh, Hangout. Because that's where I'm at all, a lot of the time. Okay. Just uh, go, just watch her, her hang out, and then on the chat, ask her for the link, and she'll send it to you. Okay. How many nights? She does them every day, like every uh, night, is it? Or? Almost every night. Uh, so that would be every morning where you're at. Mm hmm Okay, so uh, Amanda's got her, her chat going right now, according to Heather, huh? And that's probably where Rosie is. I don't think so. I think Amanda's doing the, the sleeping chat hangout where she's... Let me look. What is that? What's a sleeping chat hangout? It sounds like one where you sleep on it. <laughs> yeah, Amanda will, Amanda will go to sleep and everybody's chatting while she's sleeping. <laughs> no way! You gotta be shitting me. Yeah, well, Jesus. She lives on, right on those hangouts. She lives on those hangouts. Well, yeah, you know, out before. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty neat. People oh love to just chat. What if she <laughs> stop snoring or something? I can just hear her going. <laughs> Everybody's like going at it. <laughs> It sounds like the hostess has gone asleep when everybody else is having fun. <laughs> That's funny, you, you, guys just, you guys just go on without me. I'm going to take a few, uh, have catch a few winks here, you know. <laughs> yeah. Crack a beer and pass out, right? Yeah. Oh, man. Hey, hey, Janet, I need to go. I need to get breakfast ready and then and stuff. So it's thanks for letting me on your hangout. That's okay, and uh, thanks for coming by. Just yeah, Bye, just Sarah. any goodbye, Janet, and any time, just let me know, and I'll and I'll join you again. Okay. Okay. See you later, bye, Tara. Bye. I'll talk to you later, sweetie. Bye bye. Oh, Have a good okay. day. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Um, is actually oh, there she is. There we fun. are. We're still together. That was. That was. I love Tara. She's a sweetie. Did you see a collaboration I did with her a little while ago? I'm sorry, did I see what? A collaboration video I did with her a little while ago. With Tara? Yeah, she sent me a, a clip and I uh, edited it together with one of my videos. And uh, I didn't see that, no. When, how long ago was that? 
Um, when was that? What I might have to do is later on or something is maybe email you the link of it. Yeah, that'd be cool. I don't know how I could have missed it. How long ago did you do it? I think about a year ago or something. Oh, wow. No kidding. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you know, Tara introduced me to you. You know oh, that, yeah. right? Yeah. So uh, what do you think your uh, next video will be? And when do you think you'll be, do be able to do it? Oh, I don't know. I like to take about a week in between uh, videos. I used to dress a lot more. I used to, uh, whenever I got the chance. And I think half the reason I did that was because I was so afraid that I was going to get screwed out of doing it. Mm -hmm. You know, like something was going to happen and I'd never be able to dress or I might not be able to dress and film for a long period of time. <clears throat> and so I would gather up all the, as much video footage as I could and uh, just save it and use it as I went along, you know, making videos off of footage. In fact, I do have a lot of footage that I haven't used. I just keep it, you know, keep it handy. Um, and, then, and, then but, edit it and then upload when you can. Yeah, yeah. If an idea, what usually happens is an idea will pop into my head and I'll think of the footage I have and what would be appropriate for the song that I want to use because I'm always going to have music attached to my videos. Um, you know, if I hear a song on the radio and I think, yeah, that sounds cool. I could be real sexy if I use some of the um, the footage where I'm wearing my blue dress or something like that, you know. And uh, so that's how it usually happens. And then I just sit down and put up the old um, drawing board and, and go to work. But I like to put a video a week out if I can. Usually I like to upload on Fridays and, or Saturday nights. Um, I have no idea what my next one's going to be. I have no idea. You know what really used to worry me quite a while back was uploading videos with music on, like if it's copyrighted. But when you sent me a message saying, just um, go into the copyright details, and it says it's got like Germany blocked or something, then you're still okay to use it? Yeah. Yeah, I've been doing it since, since I, in fact, when I started um, on YouTube in 2010, um, not a lot of people were doing this, so. but I saw somebody had attached a song to a video and I thought, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, as soon as I figured out how to do it, from there on in, everything had music attached to it. And I realized that if there's a copyright issue, uh, YouTube's either going to strip it away completely and just mute the audio and take it away, or they're going to say that it's blocked in a certain amount of countries, and you can see the countries that it's blocked in. So you know you don't have to put up in your description a disclaimer, you know, that I do not own the rights to this or, or no, nor do I claim that I do or anything like that. You know, it's all taken care of automatically. You're not infringing on anything. You know? So, you know, you are make you are making um, a mistake if you take somebody else's video that they published on YouTube and take some parts of that and put it in your videos. And um, I do do that, but I don't I use footage from artistic postings that some people have put up, you know, like uh, background loops, things like that, flowers and, you know, scenery and stuff like that, just to add a little fluff to my, or a little flavor to my videos. I wouldn't go in and take like your video and take clips out of it and put it in mine and call it my own, because that's just not right, you know? I like how you edit stuff, like how you, um Put like slow motion bits to it as well. I really do like that. That's that's really good. Oh, thank you. Yeah, um, it just it kind of enhances it, you know, and gives it a softer effect in a lot of ways. I like to use my hands a lot. So um, I just you know I have nothing fancy. I'm just using the the, uh, the free Movie Maker um, program that came with my computer. <laughs> do you um, know that's what I use as well? Yeah, you know and. I pushed it to the limits. I've discovered all kinds of things that aren't obvious to the eye at first, you know, uh, that you can do with it. So I, I really pushed the envelope with that program, and I, I wind up getting a lot of freezes here and there, and I have to fix it. But you know, there are better programs. A lot of people are raving about the uh, Sony Vega or Vegas, I think it's called program. A lot of the girls use that. That's got a lot of nice special effects. I think I paid quite a bit for that though. Yeah, yeah, see, I'm like that. If I can get it for free, 
I'll take it for free and I'll do whatever I can with it, you know. And you can do, you can do quite a lot of stuff with Movie Maker. Oh yeah, definitely. I really like it. Yeah. They've got a lot, of, a lot of transitions from like clip to clip stuff, and it's got a lot of good stuff like titles and so you can change like the uh, colors of stuff like on the titles and stuff as well. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. On my latest video. I like to put transitions. I like to put, you know, little segue transitions in between each clip so that they're not jumping into one another. You know, they kind of slowly swoop into one another. Um, but for some reason, I did the the way I put this particular video together. This my stairway to heaven. Um, I had to do certain things with the audio overlays and overdubbing, and then you got to do a little trickery so that you can put live clips in between my playing and have my playing over that stuff and still come back in at the same spot so it's well synced. It's hard to explain, but I couldn't use my regular transitions because the music wouldn't be synced. I just couldn't get that right. And so the only thing I could use was that little white flash that you see before every clip. And I think it kind of goes with the video because it's like staring at you know, it's white and do you know if there's a way how to like change the YouTube username from one to the other? Because I don't always want it to be called Occasional Woman because I'm gonna, you know, be changing soon, and I just want to maybe change it just to Janet Johnson. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Um, I'll explain it to you. As a matter of fact, hang on a second. What you gotta do is you go. You, you click on your icon and then you click on your creator studio. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know what I'm saying? And then in your left column, all the way over to the left, you will click on channel. Yeah. You click, okay, you click on channel and it'll take you to your good standing page where it shows all your features and that you can turn on and off and if you're in good standing or not. And then in the left column, you go down to advanced. Yeah. And when you click on advanced, you'll see your icon in the corner and it'll have your name that you use, Occasional Woman 84. And right next to it in blue, it'll say change. Click on that and follow the instructions. Cool, thanks for that. Because, uh, what yeah, I gotta do? It's gonna <coughs> be a bit weird if I keep it the same soon, you know, and um, it'd, be good, it'd be good to change it, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. When you click on change, you used to be able to do it right at YouTube, but now that Google owns YouTube, when you click that change next to your icon, it'll yeah. take you to your Google page. And you change the name. It's easy to do. You change it right underneath your icon on your Google page. And it should change immediately on Google+. Plus. It may take a little longer for it to change for YouTube, but it will eventually change. In fact, they'll... they'll tell you that they'll say it's going to take a little longer for YouTube because what I was worried about was oh no I got I got, I got my my uh, life is changing and I don't have to uh, always have the uh, username yeah that's right I was worried that um, I'm gonna have to get rid of this channel and create it under a different name but no one no one they can actually just change your name I'm really happy about that so yeah yeah no you go by occasional woman 84 and then there's your email, which has the email address uh, also attached to the to that. So it's two separate things, right? That's yeah. how you've got it. Okay, your email will remain the same. That won't change. All you're doing is changing your name. You can change it to Janet if you want to, or Janet T Girl, or T Girl Janet, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do that. Uh, you know, just before just before I know uh, everything's going to be going ahead, I'm going to do that. This is so cool. I can't believe we're talking to each other like this. <laughs> you have such a pretty smile. You've got the greatest looking teeth I think I've ever seen. <laughs> Pearly whites. Do you use a white teeth? I smoke cigarettes, see, so I have trouble keeping my teeth white. That's one of the reasons you don't see me smiling a lot, because my, I'm afraid my teeth are going to look like, like hell. But uh, do you use a whitener or anything on your teeth? Because they're beautiful. Well, I think it's just a normal toothpaste. No kidding. Wow. Yeah. That's great. 
What time of, uh, does Annie come home from work? Well, I got to go pick her up at uh, 3 o'clock my time, which would be 8 o'clock your time. Okay. So, yeah, I got a few hours to go. Um, a few more minutes, and I'll have to go because I've got to do a vlog as well. Okay. But, uh, this is so much fun. I've, I'm really, really enjoying myself here. This is wonderful. You're my first hangout. I'm you're so my glad first. You're my, you're my first, honey, and you know a girl always remembers her first. <laughs> I think because um, your um, avatar, avatar is just on show. Uh, I think that when we do this again, it'll come back as that. Oh, that would be cool. Uh, Great. But if if uh, if just in case it's not, maybe put the tape on the screen again, and then I can always change it back to being just your picture. Oh yeah, sure. Oh hey, because uh, that 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 tape ain't going anywhere, honey. I mean, I know it sounds like I'm being paranoid, but it's Big Brother over here. It's nineteen. Have you ever read a book called Nineteen Eighty Four by George Orwell? No. Well, it's nineteen eighty four here. In nineteen eighty four, he wrote it in nineteen forty eight. As a matter of fact, and in nineteen eighty four, it's a good read. You should pick it up. You'd be astounded. He predicted a totalitarian future where everybody is on camera. Everybody's on camera 24 hours a day. The government watches everybody. And they call the camera Big Brother. Big Brother oh, yeah. is watching. Yeah. If you ever hear that term, Big Brother is watching you, that's where it comes yeah. from. And now we've got cameras everywhere. And you know something? I don't trust that webcam. I don't trust it. I don't trust it on my iPad. Because it's already been confirmed that, that uh, Homeland Security and the Defense Department, they have the right under the Patriot Act to um, monitor anybody, anywhere. And if they have a way, and they do have a way, to get into your camera, they can turn it on at any time. You could be sitting there, you know, scratching yourself, and they're going to be able to watch what you're doing and listen in. So <clears throat> I question these Hangouts and all kinds of media stuff as an avenue and a real easy way for a paranoid government to keep tabs on their people and catalog yeah. us, you know, but hey, I don't care. I just don't like the idea of being stared at by the guy, by some FBI guy. It's kind of like if, uh, if you're on, like, um, if you're unknown or something, like the camera could automatically turn on or something. And, uh, Maybe. Yeah, and you know they've got this this facial recognition technology now too, and you know they they can take still pictures of you. They put you in a database, and the next thing you know, you know wherever you go, they can find you. you know? it's, it's, it's I think, it's, I think it's, it's sorry. It's, yeah, that's okay. I'm sorry. It's um, a good thing in certain ways, but it's a violation of privacy, and we're losing that rapidly in this country. I think it must be America at the moment because my webcam always stays off. Because I've got like a light on it, I always can see when it's on and off. Um, oh, really? That's yeah. interesting. Huh. Yeah. Well, I'd like to, next time we, we do this, honey, I'd like to like maybe come on the way you, we did at the beginning. And um, and you had us just private. You didn't go live. And, yeah, um, so, yeah, I'll be able to... to private uh, video call, you don't go live. Yeah, that would be cool. And I'll be able to see myself in the corner because right now I'm looking at my avatar down at yeah. the bottom here. So I'd probably be able to see myself and I can see how, how I'd look. And uh, of course, I'll make myself up all nice. Maybe I can get my mitts on a pan stick because I could use that. <laughs> Where do you get to be my age, hon? You're going to love it. <laughs> <laughs> I got my uh, thing here to put my. Um, first, every time I saw one of these was when. Uh, Rosie on Rosie O'Kelly used one, and uh, you can oh, yeah. you can walk with it. You you can um, like have your camera up in front of you, and you don't have to be in one position with a tripod, like you know, just up in front of you and just take it with you. And it's, it's really cool. Um, so I think I might use that in, in a little bit when I record my vlog. But um, yeah, that's that's really neat. That's really neat. I didn't even know that Rosie had one of those, and I used to. I used to wonder how was she keeping her camera so steady like that on all the walks 
because she used to take a lot of walks around her neighborhood with um, her dog Wolfie. Yes. Wolfie passed away last year. Oh no! But, um, oh yeah, yeah. He was he was old, you know. He had a great life and everything, and he was loved. by it was hard on them though. Uh, she made a video um, of her taking Wolfie to the pound for the last time. It was heart wrenching. It really was. It was sad. Oh, but. Yeah. I used to have a dog and he, uh, he, he, he passed on. A little Cavalier King Charles dog was a, he was a small one. He was a brown and white. Um, oh. oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You know, it's it's like having kids. It's like we're not supposed to outlive our kids kind of thing. You know what I mean? It's so sad that we outlive all our pets because we love them so much. Mm -hmm. um, I'll send you an uh, email again tonight and... Uh, you know, or, or tomorrow, and uh, just say, talk about a bit about this hangout and uh, maybe discuss a bit about our next one or something. Yeah. I'd love that, sweetie. I'd really love that. And um, I just to say that um, I really do love receiving your emails. Like each morning, you know, time differences, but that's okay because my morning, I like to just turn on the laptop and you know, because I like reading your emails. I really do look forward to receiving them and reading them. Um, especially when I, 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 I love, uh, I love my nickname, Janny. I love that. You look like Janny. Sweet. I love it. You're so I, sweet, honey. I love your emails, too, and I look forward to them. And if I don't hear from you, I'm going to get a little worried, so. Oh, that was, um, I, I know that happened a little while ago. I think it was uh, one day when I was all out the net for a, a day, and uh, oh, yeah. that's right. Yeah, you lost the internet. In fact, we had a crash here, um, and airlines lost their their internet, and uh, Wall Street went down, and uh, the Wall Street Journal was down. So it was right around the same time. So some hackers were playing um, playing games on the internet, I think, or something. Yeah, I get a little worried if I don't hear from somebody, especially you, sweetie, because I love you so much. Uh, if I don't hear from you, um, you know, in a day or so, I'll, I usually will give you a day. First, I'll write you and I'll say, "What up, Buttercup? What's going on?" You know, and if I don't hear anything, I may give you a day, thinking that, you know, uh, God forbid that anything happened, you may have had an accident or something. And, Mm -hmm. I always, you know, I just don't want to let it go for too long, so, you know. Um, I was going to say something, I completely forgot. <laughs> um, that's, beca that's because I don't know when to shut up. Hey, you know what, if I start getting obnoxious, just say, hey, Kitty, shut that fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Um, Did it have to do with... Um, us writing to each other in my emails. I'm hearing an echo. I can hear myself that. We were talking about um, how you loved getting my emails every day. And yeah. How you, and then we had the internet problem. I completely forgot. Sorry about that. Um, you know what? It'll come. It'll come to you later, and you can write to me about it. <laughs> yeah, I have to do that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think I'll have to go now. It's about five thirty-two. But um, yeah. Well, I thank you, sweetie. Thank you so much. I really love this. I had so much fun. Well, before we, before I go, I got to end off end off the chat first. So I was uh, uh, gonna say your goodbyes first, and then I'll do mine, and then then I'll end the uh, live broadcast, and then we can go afterwards. Okay, well, all I see over here, I see Heather. I don't know if she's still on yet or not, but bye, Heather. We're going to sign off now. Hope you have a nice Sunday. And to Alex, thanks for joining in, Alex. And, of course, Tara. And Tara, if Tara's yeah. still around. Thanks that's for joining great. in, Tara. That's great. I'll be talking were, to her. That's really good that you talk to her by phone as well. That's good. Yeah, we, we talk about once a week, whenever we can, you know. It's okay then, uh, everyone. So uh, this is it for uh, my monthly hangout. But hopefully I'll uh, come back on and do another one with Kitty very soon, and uh, Tara, and maybe Rosie might join us as well uh, uh, at some point in the future. Um, yeah, we'll get Cindy really, on too. I really enjoyed this, and uh, thanks to Tara who uh, went earlier, but that was fun to talk to her. 
and Kitty, your first ever hangout. Uh, thank you for joining me. And, My uh, pleasure, sweetie. To, Always a pleasure. Thanks to everyone watching, and until next time, goodbye, everyone, and uh, take care until then. Bye, honey.